Thank you, Madam Chair. First of all, thank you for the possibility to speak. And secondly, I would like to address to all of you, my dear colleagues, uh, I just want to remind you that our organization, Council of Europe, was created as a fortress for democracy, human rights, rule of law, for the, the general values which unites all of us and all civilized people uh, on the continent. And uh, in this meaning, Strasbourg has been the heart of uh, Europe. I'm saying has been, because I think now Mariupol is the heart of Europe. And like uh, this palace was the fortress which was defending these values, now Azovstal is the fortress in which these values were defended, not just by speeches, not just by resolutions, but by people with weapons in their hands. These people saved Europe. These people saved us from terrible consequences. And last time we were here in April, I spoke about these people, and all of you standed up in their support. Now, all of them, many of them, some of them died, but many of them now are in Russian prison. Now they, um, some of them are tortured by Russians. And I think it's very important, and I address to all of you, to all your governments, to our organization, to help to save these people. I just want not to speak about some anonymous people. I want to name some of them. Uh, it's Denis Prokopenko, uh, commander of Azov Regiment. He is a teacher of English language and he was fighting for our values. Dmitro Kozatsky, photographer, who won many uh, uh, prizes as photographer. Uh, Sergei Volinsky, Marine, uh, he is married, he has son, and I know him personally. Uh, Svetoslav Palomar, uh, deputy commander of Azov the regiment, he has son. Katya Ptashka, mad uh, doctor, she is in prison. Uh, Victoria Bidna, um, doctor, uh, mother of four years old daughter. So, I just want to ask all of you to help us to save them. Save our souls. And you know this, uh, this signal source, save our souls. Today, by saving their souls, we will save our soul. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Koncharenko.